Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three mistakes that people commonly make when trying to use audio in Google Slides. I get asked about these things a lot, and so I thought I'd make a little video. So first of all, here's my awesome sample presentation that I've made. And the first mistake that people make is thinking that they can record audio directly in Google Slides or upload audio directly in Google Slides. And unless you use a third-party add-on like Moat, you can't actually record audio inside of Google Slides. You have to record it outside of Google Slides and then upload it to your Google Drive. So I recommend if you're just trying to make a short audio recording using something like Vocaroo where you can just click the record button and make a quick MP3 file. If it's a longer audio file that you wanna use, you can use a different tool like GarageBand or even WeVideo to create that audio. But once you have your audio created, go into your Google Drive and do a file upload. And I'm gonna do a file upload of my audio file about Dakota Thunder. And we'll see, there it is, it's uploaded completely. And now I can go in and insert audio from my Google Drive right there and select it. And that brings up this menu over here, which brings me to the second mistake that people commonly make, and that is not adjusting their audio playback. So first of all, I'm gonna drag this little icon over here to the bottom right corner and make it a little bit bigger. Now, right now, I have this audio set to play on click. So as soon as I click on the audio icon, it will play. I'm gonna have to manually activate that audio. But if you want it to play automatically, make sure you turn that on so that when your slides automatically advance, that audio will automatically play in the background. Now, if you're using something like music, you might wanna loop that audio in the background and you might want to hide that icon when you're in presentation mode. And if you're going to have multiple slides, you'll definitely want to stop that audio when you go on to the next slide so that it doesn't keep playing in the background and competing with what you're trying to say or whatever audio you have on your next slide. Now, in this case here, I'm going to go back to on click. I only want that audio to play when I click on the audio icon. Now, the last mistake that people commonly make when using audio in Google Slides comes up when they go to share their slides and invite collaborators. So let's say I'm going to invite Morrison to work on this with me. There he is. And I'm going to have him work on this with me. And he's going to be an editor. But we'll see this notification that someone needs access to the media file in here. So let's make sure we turn that on. And I'm going to let my editor also have edit access on that Google Drive audio file. We're going to share that. So now I've shared both the slides and the audio file. And the same thing is true if you go to publish these to the web, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you enable access to the audio file that you have stored in Google Drive, as well as access to the slides themselves. So those are three common mistakes that people make when using audio in Google Slides. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.